Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post for Nam, where today I think it's finally time that we got round to finishing, I haven't got my book on my bar, one of these quests in here, in particular this entire quest line. Now all we need to do to finish it is to get the B products and you, you can see we are almost finished. We need the royal jelly and the propolis. The propolis I actually already have. It's the royal jelly that we're after but, oh and sorry, and to do that we were breeding these majestic bees and I had got a majestic queen but unfortunately through the process of like sloppy biological breeding and reproduction we've managed to get ourselves a noble queen which is not what I want and we're going to uh, we're going to address this by well by these machines up over here you remember that we made the mutatron this little machine over here that makes this sort of green goop that we can use to mutate stuff now we were normally using that for for quests we we did that to input stuff to the book uh, you'll remember there was all that trouble where we couldn't actually input the right stuff to the qsd over the QD, qds i can't quest delivery system uh qds uh but to do that, we're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of bronze. Thankfully, I've made a lot of bronze here, so I'm going to take all this out. Now, we need some gears and stuff like that. In fact, I will just quickly show you the recipe, and I think we'll do my normal series of artful j jump cuts. One of these funny power modules, nice and easy to make, actually, really. Uh, we need a sturdy casing, and more importantly, these B receptacles. Oh, and let's not forget the mutagen tank. So that's the vast majority of the stuff done that we need, but this genetics processor up here, this is going to be a little bit of a pain, uh, mainly because we've got to get all these central processing units together, and whilst we have done this before, so I'm going to do it in, again in an artful jump cut, I thought I'd come and tell you how much work this one is going to be. I'm just kind of going through all the recipes now. You can see we've got the two different, three different, well, two different, three uh, central processing units, couple of diamonds, and some raw plastic. These central processing units, though, wow. Oh, man, guys, that was a lot more work than I was expecting. Like, I had to completely remake a whole batch of resistors. I'm now completely out of microchips. Just thing things went badly, mainly because of my stocks, not, not because it was, like a lot of difficult work but here we go the mutatron all right cool now we've got powered line running down this line of blocks here so i think what i might do is just ooh, oh i'm not sure if i'm happy with that no i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it we're gonna pop that right there okay cool so we need to make some labware now this is actually relatively simple but cost me a diamond I can, I can afford that i think i think i can afford that so let's make our ender jumps over this way oh hey dude how's it going do you want to you want to get your fight on yeah let's let's do this hand uh, hand to hand mano a mano fire zombie hey i don't appear to be doing you the greatest amount of damage let's uh get some crits in that's what it's all about uh we were on our way down to base just want to stick my face over and make sure these guys are all still alive they do still appear to be alive kind of wish they'd build something here but then you know there's this water here so that might be what's going on with that down below now, I would normally grab my glass from here, but that's not really what I want to do this time around. I want to actually cook some more glass up, which should be nice and simple, because in here, yeah, got stacks upon stacks of sand. This is all, of course, for the rebuild project, but the bottleneck here is, in fact, protein. So I've got all the sand and gravel that I need to build myself another another wand. In fact, I'm a, a few bits of gravel short, but that is not the problem. The problem is the number of proteins I've got. 358, when I actually need several... Uh, I need about a thousand, I believe. Need about a thousand. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook off before I can make myself some glass panes, and I'll be back with the labware. All right, that's six bits of glass cooked. Let's get into our crafting bench here. I believe it's some panes. It was only four of them, so we've got enough to make uh, another three sets of labware, but with the 16 per diamond, I've got a feeling we're going to be using this for a little while. Let's jump our way over there. I do love this jumpy power. You all right, Twitch Jumpy 5? 
Sounded like you took some damage there. So I want to kind of take the stuff out of here. Thankfully, we only have a little bit of time to think. But then I'm going to use this Noble Drone and the Majestic Queen, and we should get ourselves an Imperial. So to save myself some time, I brought a couple of buckets here. I'm going to get the Mutagen out and then pop them back in here. Can we do that? Oh, we can just do that like that. From the outside, not using... Oh, Twitch Yongi 5, why why did you get in the way there? What happens if I walk in the mutagen? Does it do me bad? Oh, oh, should we find out? Let's do it. Experiment time. Am I getting any effects? I don't think I'm getting any effects at all, am I? Ah, oh, that's a little bit annoying. I would have liked... Annoying? It's not, it's not annoying. It's a little, a little bit disappointing. I would have preferred it if I had grown, like, four arms or something. What did I... What did I dig this little 2x2 two two hole here for? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, I've got to wait just another few percent for this. I will bring you back when the time has elapsed. Okay, 100% done. We've got a Majestic Princess and loads of Majestic Drones, but that is not we, what we want. We're going to take this Noble Drone here. We're going to go Majestic and Noble, and we're going to, fingers crossed, guys, that we get the right thing. We could have made, if I come back here, Mutatron. We could have made the Advanced Mutatron, but this requires two more of these, which is actually the hard bit to make. Some stuff here, the uh, Bronze Gears, another Mutatron. Yeah, there's a whole load of stuff that... We probably could have done, uh, and that would have given us the option to choose what breeding we want to, to happen. So what I'm hoping for here is the Imperial, and if we get given something else, I think I might just break down and cry on camera. But at 95%, we are just waiting for a few more seconds. Imperial Queen! Oh, we did it, guys! Oh, yeah! I'm not sure what drone we're going to mix with it, though. Should we uh, have ourselves a quick little analyze here? Okay, Imperial, Imperial, pristine stock, amazing. Now, I think we might actually be better off just kind of mixing it with random drones, unless I've got an Imperial drone in my box. Let's have a look deep in my box. Uh, last page here, no, we don't have anything like that. We've got a, ver a Valiant Princess, though. All right, I'm going to go away for a couple of seconds and just think about what I'm going to do here without, you know, spewing random thoughts all over my, my video. So guys, it turns out I'm a little bit of a fool. I think you guys have figured this out this far into the series. But the Imperial Queen obviously doesn't need a drone to mix with her because she's a queen. Why does that... I like that, the fact that this gets a little bit of uh, definition when I go up and down. Yeah, so I was wondering what drone we were going to mix her with. It doesn't really matter. What have I got these little fart bubbles about? What, what's it giving me? No, they're not, they're not there anymore. It was pink, so it was good. But yeah, I'm going to... Go around, sort out my inventory, and I will come back with the next thing that we are going to do. Um, which is probably, in fact, checking this thing for... Ooh, look at that. Checking this thing for royal jelly. Oh yeah, look. Regeneration. Fart bubble regeneration. That's nice. Alright, sweet. Eight bits of royal jelly. That means if we go inside this quest book and... Oh, come on. Work for me here. Ooh, all quests completed. Let's go in. Oh, that's not defense. That's the one I want. Thank you. Let's go in and have a look at this one here. Ah, oh, we got some stuff. Now, what are we going to get? I'm going to get this woven silk because I've got a feeling it's going to be useful at some point. But that is that one done. Wow, we guys, that's an entire quest line done again. Do you think we can replicate this feat today? I think we can. I think we can close down another quest line. If we come all the way down here, Back into the weapons room. I have been making stuff ready to make these last two tiers of defensive weapons. That's why the book kept on being on the defensive quest line here. We need to make the BFG and the laser. Now we can see that the BFG, which is of course the railgun, takes a tier 5. Oh, I really thought the other one was going to be a tier 4. Okay, we got to make two tier 5s. That is somewhat thrown my plans out so i made these tier twos uh, tier fours here and then made the ability to make tier fives now the reason this may have slightly thrown my plans out is these vibrant crystals are literally the last vibrant crystals that i have in existence anywhere and the problem is not the vibrant alloy the problem is actually the beryllium for making emerald i, I just don't I don't have any source of beryllium anywhere, so I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. But with these two turrets, what are we going to do? I think... Let me type in turret. Choosing between the railgun or the laser, I think we're going to go for the... 
laser, less barrels to worry about, but more vibrant crystals. This is not the best one I've ever seen. So let's do that. Brilliant. Uh, we also need some obsidian, I believe. Let's go and check this one out. Three obsidian. That's all good. I'm going to have a look in here. I've got a couple of emeralds. We're just going to sacrifice this for the sake of finishing the quest line. Uh, we do actually need another two. There's five there. Oh, look at this. I'm actually going to steal the last bit of vibrant alloy as well. That That's all good, though. We, we can live with that. I don't think I'm actually going to have enough to make both my... Okay, give me a second to go make some more Vibrant Alloy, and I will be right back. All right, that's the last bit of Vibrant Alloy that we need. We should now, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. I only got two of those. Is that, do we actually need more than two? Rocket launcher, laser. All right, laser quest complete. Let's have a look inside this quest book and see if we can grab anything that we need to make this work. This is a tier four or the redstone energy cell, not ore, and the redstone energy cell. I think I'm going to go for the tier four base. Oh, oh, why is last, like, later on in the book always disappointing with the music recently? Ah, oh, very disappointing. Okay, so I'm going to have to spend the next however long trying to figure out how to make myself another couple of high-grade barrels and, well, another firing uh, mechanism and everything. And I will be back when I figured all that out. All right, guys, so I think I have a plan where we're going to get some emeralds from, but first... There is a little thing I want to do here. Now, obviously, this is kind of the end point of production as far as, like, all the major bee stuff is concerned. I might want to make some lapis bees. I might want to make some emerald bees. There are a few bees that I want to make. But first, I want to start this producing stuff a lot quicker, which means we've got to make one of these production upgrades. Thankfully, I've gone around and grabbed everything we need for that, apart from that last little bit of royal jelly we needed. Mm -mm. Now, the main reason I want to make lots of royal jelly is for this ambrosia stuff here because this actually gives you regeneration for like 40 seconds when you eat it which is a red Dunculus. So we're going to be keeping that and we're going to be taking it on an adventure because we're going over this way and I do not have any torches. Of course I can make a load of torches with wax just like that. That is what we want. It might not be enough. It might be too many. We will find out. Thankfully Twitch Yongi 5 always carries a chisel with him so we can turn these into things that are just... In fact that's not the one I want. I'm going to take this one because I think it's just a little bit more nice to look at underground. It doesn't matter. We're going underground. It really doesn't matter. Uh, hello, Mr. Spider over there. We're going to go this way. Hi. Some of you guys might remember this place. This is the, the mob spawner that was totally pointless that we didn't need. Uh, and somewhere around here, this is the cave that I keep getting lost in when I'm looking for this one. Okay, we're going to go down this way and we're going to find areas that we have not found before. Now, the reason we're here is because we're in extreme hills. Now, this could end up being a scenario like the nether portal where I'm taking... Um, vanilla knowledge and trying to apply it to the modded game down there is where I want to be I think <clears throat> but we'll, we'll see what happens from this I have no idea what we're going to find down here but I do think it's time we lit this up we have known of this area for a very very long time now and we've always been scared we fell down oh dear that's why we're scared it's good it's good it's far enough away get, get out of it oh reload reload's bad well, I suppose it's all right. I suppose it's all right. And we get some ender fragments, which is nice. Now, I do not like the way my hotbar is all organized there. Okay, my gun is now single click away. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of walk around, get some lighting done. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Um, get some lighting done. Explore some of these side tunnels. See where we can go. And I will bring you back if I find some emerald ore. Or if anything else important happens. I'm just going to keep the recording going. And, uh, well, start chatting as soon as bad things happen. There are bugs around here. In fact, I know there are bugs around here. Uh, if we have a look kind of down in this waterway somewhere. I saw some as I was falling. There's actually a rock hive. There it is down there. So we want to try and avoid that. Uh, down this way, I think, is the way to go now. This is also an area that we've not explored before. I kind of feel... Ah, uh, uranium. I might go and get that. Ooh. Oh, do you see it, guys? Do you see... Oh, ah, him. Let's, let's, let's keep an eye on him. Okay. But the thing I was trying to draw attention to... It's nice and well lit around that way. Is not this end stone. Not the water. Not the tunnel. But this emerald ore here. Look at that. Amazing. That's what we want. Let's uh, jump over. 
Okay, that's good. I heard. Do you hear him? Where's where where is he? Skeleton bad. Skeleton bad. I don't I don't want to get caught in some sort of weird pinch scenario where like I just get caught between somewhere where I can go, somewhere I can't go, and the skeleton shooting me back towards the thing that I can't go to. I, I have that quite a lot sometimes. All right, I'm going to carry on exploring now. If I spot anything in the distance, I will let you know. Whoa, get out of here, little dude. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Let's take care of him whilst we can. Whew, plague baby zombie. That is not what you want. Not what you want. Okay, I'm going to carry on looking up here. Is there... Is there, are there, more zombies, or is there a spawning box, or stuff like that? I am definitely uh, burning through these torches, though. Aha, uh -huh, puns. Uh, so we will see what happens by the time we've run out. Oh, there's a chest. Literally, I've just made it two steps over. Um, we're we're going to dig around. Because that's what you do with chests. <laughs> you, you definitely don't just open them and let the explosives go. Golden pickaxe, golden sword, and an apple. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. A little bit pointless with today's state of technology. What? What's that? I got off. What was that? Run away. Anyone know what just happened there? Honestly, not got a clue. Honestly, not got a clue. There was just explosions. I didn't even see any particle effects. I'm sure on the video I would have spotted them. Maybe I would have even pointed them out. We're back up at the surface here. Look, uh, there's obsidian around. This must be one of the spots that I spotted. One of the spots that I spotted? Yes. One of the places that I spotted above ground when uh, looking for monsters underground. You know, I can see on the radar top right. And sometimes when you're walking around the surface, you're like, Oh, look, there's monsters down there. So that would probably have been one of them. So I've got a feeling that I'm far too high up at the moment. I'm like, why 49? Um, it's nice just to go around and get the caves lit up, though. I'm sure as any Minecraft... <laughs> You've been here for a while, haven't you, dude? I'm sure as any Minecraft player will tell you, it's just good to be nice and safe underground. So that's this entire cave branch done. I'm going to go back to the main sort of big area with all the soul sand we're in and see if I can find another branch out of here. Okay, so we're back where the emerald was, and I'm thinking maybe down there is the direction I want to go. I am a little bit worried. Maybe we'll take this slightly gentler slope down. I think this is gentler. No, 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 it's not. But this is where we're going to go anyway. Quite like this space. Oh, in fact, this is a very nice space. Hopefully, these big expansive caves will show me some more emerald ore at some point. Are we still in extreme hills? We are. There's a cave system. Ooh, ooh, a chest. Again, we're going to go dig around it first before we just... Yeah, no, everything looks super safe. Oh, whoa, did you watch that change? So we've got some ender pearls. They'll come in handy at some point. Some quartz, some iron name tag, iron horse armor, what? And some... String. String was the thing I just... I threw it in my inventory before even thinking about what it was. There's a lot of lava here! Oh, no, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, Twitch Yongi, where are you? Uh, let's teleport out of here... The higher up we can get, the better. Okay, that's fine. I think I put myself in a relatively safe position before we died. I need to get a whole load of stuff together, but I will be back. Okay, I've got a smattering of bad equipment that I've been catch capturing off of mobs, and we're going to go find out exactly where I died. It's, it's just down there. Now, is there an easier way of getting in? I do wonder whether I can get in through this hole over here. A few of you may have spotted this hole previously in, in the playthrough in this, this series. Yeah, okay, so it's over that way. This is not a safe way, though. This is not a safe way. It's an Asda. Uh, we're going to go around and see uh, if there's a better way from the same cave entrance that we went in down the first place. With all the panic about my stuff, I hadn't actually processed that I lost a life. Um, which, you know, is bad in and of itself. But I was more, much, much, much more worried about my equipment. Look at that up there. How do we, how do we get up there? <laughs> like, is this somewhere I can only go via teleporting? I don't know. Yeah, okay, this is all good. We've got all of our stuff back. Yay! That That's good news, guys. Good news. Um, I am a little bit... What, what's going on? Something's going wrong around me. Uh, we're going to throw this stuff over here because it's not important. We're going to put on our actual equipment. Throw this down here. A again, there's stuff that I'm just going to throw away because I just don't feel like it's important. In fact, where's Twitch Yongi 5? You have an inventory, an entire inventory spare of equipment here, man. I'm going to drop a few things in. Uh, there might be other things I want to drop in. 
like this entire glowstone armor well everything but the chest plate okay now we have some problems what is going on it is the heat that is the problem okay i've got my sword in my hand we're gonna carry on can we chill out in this water here we can actually chill out in water that's good that's great and that's all other good things uh in fact i'm gonna come over here and make myself a little barricade to stand against which will hopefully keep some of the water in like that and that and then just stand here Whew, okay, panic times are over, I think, maybe, uh, as long as everything stays relatively safe here. I'm going to just quickly swap out for some torches and put a few, bit, more, bit more light around. I don't see any bad guys on my radar, so I think I am generally quite good. Is my temperature going up or down? 39.02.01. It is going down, but slower than I care to count. Okay, moving from water source to water source here. I'm trying to see if there's any emeralds just lying around because this is, of course, what we're here for. I need at least two, three emeralds, something like that. All oh, this lava is super sketchy, though. Super, super sketchy. I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of this. No, no. No, you can, you can do one, mate. God, get out of here. We're going to deal with these guys. Uh, someone might have appeared behind me when that happened. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Okay, I'm just going to get out of here. You know what? I, I don't want to deal with these silverfish and stuff like that. I just It's not not so in my resume at the moment, you know? On top of all the death issues and stuff like that, I'm totally not sure whether I should be... Can I... Oh, I can teleport out. Whether I should be looking for emeralds in the caves or up top. I needed to come out and, and chill out a little bit. The, the heat has got too much. I need to sort my inventory out. Look at all this. Uh, so I suppose I will be back when all that's been sorted if I don't kill myself with my teleport first. Hey guys, come a little closer. Yeah, that's right, I wanna have a quick word with you. So normally right now would be the time that I wrap up the episode. This is, we're 20 minutes in, but I really, really want to get round to making that last turret, which, of course, is going to mean I'm going to have to go down and get some more emeralds. Now, I am going to go ahead and just make a long episode here, but I want you to tell me down in the comments below whether you would prefer me to just be 20 minutes, that's it, I've got, I'm a rushed person, I've only got so much time to watch these videos, 20 minutes, or I'd rather finish the whole story, get the idea of what's going on. Let me know. Uh, I'm now just going to sit here until hypothermia occurs, and then I'm going back down to look for some more emeralds. I'm going to carry on recording, uh, and we should have a great time. Okay, we're back for the point where I have found the single emerald. So what we're going to do this time is go down here and see if this is any better. Oh, it's all dark down here. Aha! There's an emerald over there, but that is now spinning. Okay, let's get in there and break that as quick as possible. Who knows what we will spew forth? That was good. A broken spawner? No. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, TNT didn't want to do that. That's all good, though. It's all good. It's fine. I ran away. Kind of did want that broken spawner, though. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do about getting that. Oh, obviously, it's it's gone. It's it's well gone. We are in the underground mine shaft. Things could go horrendously wrong at this point. Let's go over and get that other bit of emerald. How are we going to block off this... This lava here. I think it's very important that I do block it off. If you disagree with me, that must be because you want to see me die. Um, I think that'll do. I think that will do. We're going to take out a few bits here. I wonder what the uh, the chiseled block is about. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We've got an enchanted book and enchanted book. I didn't see what those were. Fuel efficiency, smite, and destruction. Fuel efficiency. Another emerald. All right, cool. Okay, I'm going to put the emerald inside Twitch Zhongyi 5 because he has this habit of teleporting back home when he dies which is totally fine for me because he doesn't lose the stuff inside his inventory so we'll just let him keep hold of it all I, th I think that's a good plan uh, I'm under a river now, this is no good, gotta go back this way Birch Forest? Where are the extreme hills? What happened here? Man, so much death and destruction. I'm already at 38 degrees um, overheating. Literally been down here for about three minutes. Uh, I'm going to grab some uranium whilst it's relatively easy to grab. Um, like, look there, that's where I got the last bit. And already we're on the horrendous overheating. So I'm going to grab these bits uh, and teleport out of here, unless there is something just up here to have a look at. No, no. Okay, we're going to have to teleport out of here, I think. Uh, I really would like to grab some more emeralds, though gonna have to do something about making this cold cave colder i have been here literally the same amount of time that i went down digging in fact including the time it took me to have that little chat with you about how long uh the, the episode was gonna take it's ridiculous let's get going 
Ooh. Silverfish. So I just found some emeralds literally by going in a straight... Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? There's always going to be more silverfish around. Always more silverfish. Right, where, where are the other guys? Let's get them while it's relatively safe. Is he down there? Uh, another one. There we go. Oh, I just sent Twitch on you. No, I didn't. Okay, normally when I hit him with my sword, he goes back home. But he's obviously not sulked about it this time. Oh, look, guys. The mysterious bottom right bar is filling up. My, my air quality is dropping. Ah, knew it had a function at some point. Okay, the air quality is now actually bad enough that I need to uh, teleport out of here. Too hot, too suffocating-y. Man, it's hard. It's hard. So this time I'm going for a different plan. You'll see Twitch Yongi 5 here is full of cold water bottles. So maybe that will help us out. I'm also going to come in down this way because I've got my teleport powers and we can light this bit up. That'll be good to uh, light this bit up finally. This chasm that has been to the next of our base. To the next? Ooh, ooh, what is that? What is that? It's shooting... Flame entities? That'll be falling sand according to the top. Let's break it. When all else fails, let's break it. Not getting many broken spawners off of these things. Do I have to be, like, super close to them when it happens? Is, is this the bit that I'm getting wrong here uh i would have thought i'd got a few more this creeper spawner we have seen before i think i might even go looking down here because we are just like generally in the extreme hills biome here oh look we've been here before oh look it, it's this place <sighs> anyway i'm gonna wander on and try and find some more emeralds okay so i'm starting to get a little warm i'm gonna do this cold water bottle and see how much it uh saves me from it i'm 38 oh that 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 barely did anything at all. Uh, let's try another one. So it gets, it loses me 0.1 of a degree. That this, this is just useless. Absolutely no point to it. I mean, if I sat here and drank the lot, it might help. But then that means I've got to sit here and go through all these glass bottles individually. Uh, though that said, I am now already down to 70, uh, 37 degrees, so I mean, it's kind of okay. Uh, the ideal scenario would to be also have some way of like passively cooling myself. I just don't think that's going to happen. All right, I'm going to take a last second to go through here. No, I'm not because my pickaxe is uh, run out of charge. Okay, so what I am going to do is grab a few bits of this end stone here because I think this actually gave me beryllium in my... Let's grab it and have a look quickly in the chemical decomposer. Uh, so through this way, Einsteinium, Plutonium, Francium, Neodymium, Silicon. There's a lot of stuff in here. The beryllium, there we go. That was one of the bits that I was super after. Uh, so let's grab a few more. I know I'm kind of doing my durability of my pick here, but I think we can survive. Okay, so we have a little bit of beryllium in here, and I've picked up 30 bits of endstone. So let's throw that in there and see what we get. Uh, the iron is not actually all that useful because uh, I'm overflowing. I've got some neodymium, though. This is good. And nine bits of beryllium. Oh, my gosh. Let's see how many of these we actually need to turn into emerald. Uh, somewhere along here. Shape crafting... Okay, so there's the the beryl to uh, sorry the beryllium to turn into beryl. It's a little bit of a stepped process, but I think we can do this. But it's three per ber ber per beryl, and then how many beryls is it per? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. And then it's two beryls per emerald, and I'm not sure if I've got the chromium or the vanadium. Vanadium and chromium. Okay, well let's let's try and make this stuff. I should have some uh, metasilica over here because I tried to do this at one point and then realised that I really didn't have the beryllium. Uh, so that. That's that done. Awesome. Oh, so all that and I only got three bits of barrel, but that's that's okay. This is definitely worth running with. So then it's two chromium and a vanadium for each two bits of barrel. So we're going to have one left over. That is uh, massively unfortunate. And that's our first synthesized emerald. All right. Now, if we take the ones out of Twitch Yongi 5, we should have a few. Now, have I already stashed them away? You know, cleaning up inventories. Seven emeralds. Nice. That's a good start there. So before we get too much further along, as well as welcoming beryllium to the board, we have a few more changes. One is that I've had to use up the only bit of... Um, chromium that i had was it chromium no cobalt that i had so that's disappeared but we also get to welcome a whole new host of new elements here let's start with rubidium and lithium now lithium as everybody knows lives up in the top left here rubidium actually comes underneath uh, potassium so 
bit by bit, I am slowly learning my entire periodic table. I knew little bits of it anyway, sketchily. Uh, zir zirconium. Now, I believe this actually lives somewhere down here. Let me just... Belongs underneath titanium. Woo! Uh, we also have a massive lag spike to deal with. And then have neodymium, which actually belongs on the lanthanites... Actinites? The top one of the two down there. So I'm just going to kind of stick it in there. I hope at some point we get to make some massive magnets out of it. So on days like today, we're reminded how much of a dangerous activity mining is. How those brave souls that go down into the depths of the earth to wrest the mineral wealth away from Mother Nature put on the line. As we take the traditional moments of silence, we will clear the waypoint from the... Map. <laughs> signifying that the time of morning is over and we're gonna go finish up these quests because I have finally got everything I need to get the railgun done so let's just teleport our way yonder I can't see the teleport underwater that's that's crazy I didn't know that that was a problem all right so coming inside I do believe if I have a look in this one here I can make two tier five barrels now this one here I got a tier five chamber now, I think I need two of these IO buses, and now I'm going to have to have a look. I, I did well. I did very well trying to remember where everything was or what I needed. Um, have I spelt laser correctly? I have. With an S or a Z, who knows? It depends which, type, uh, which side of the pond you are. Okay, I think we can do this in a craft bench. I should have everything with me. In fact, can we have a look in there? No, that's still in use. Twitch Yongi 5, you. Thank you very much. So we need the three bits of obsidian that I don't think were actually that way round. It's not laser, it's railgun. That's why I'm going wrong. Two bits of obsidian. Two bits of obsidian there and there. Barrels in the middle, chamber down below. Uh, was it this way round or the other way round? I think it might have been the other way round. That's quite all right, though. Railgun turret. Oh, yeah. And you know what this means, don't you? We're going to claim the tier five turret base. And that is another quest line complete. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to say a great big thank you for coming along on this quest completing adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to try and get our reactor sorted. I know I keep promising that the big power is going to be a thing, but big power, it's going to be a thing. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.